Hey, what's up guys? Justin with americantrucks.com and welcome to another installment of our customer build series. This of course is a series of videos where we feature different customer rigs from all over the country, show off some of the modifications and maybe give you some inspiration for your truck at home. Today I'm talking to a young man named Wally from the Virginia area. Wally's got a killer five liter truck, 2016 in black and uh, I think it's really done well. And if you guys wanna see more of Wally's truck, of course, check out his build page back at AT, or if you're catching this on YouTube, just click on that link below. But let's say what's up to Wally. Hey Wally, how you doing, man? Not bad. Thanks again for joining me today, Wally. We really appreciate it. The truck is absolutely beautiful. Uh, 2016 five liter F-150 in black, and uh, you got a lot going on. So why don't you walk us around the truck a little bit and tell us about what you get, uh, some of your mods you got going on. Uh, so one of the first things I did was the four inch rough country lift. You know, I was kind of torn between that and, the, and a Fox lift, but I decided to go with the more affordable option. And I love it. I love everything about it. As soon as I got in it, uh, it felt great, you know, being a little bit higher. It's my first lifted truck, so. It was cool getting up off the ground a little bit. Now you added to the lift kit, you actually added on the uh, the kicker bars as well, which is something not a lot of people do. How does that help out with like the ride quality traction and that kind of stuff? Tremendously. Actually, I've, I had the, the lift kit probably f close to a year before I did that. And so far it's night and day. I love it. Um, that and the Icon uh, upper control arms, I did those at the same time. and. It just feels so much better. I could definitely feel some stiffness uh, without those two things. And then having put those two things in, it just goes now. <laughs> nice, that's awesome, man. Now, did you notice any like binding or rubbing with the stock upper control arms prior to installing the tubulars or not, not really? Not really, it just felt a little stiffer. It, it feels a lot more smooth now. I could kind of feel little vibrations here and there and those have, you know, almost completely been eliminated. Well, on top of the lift, you got to set the lift off with some bigger wheels and tires, and you did the Gen 2 style Raptor wheels with a Ridge Grappler. I really, I have a Trail Grappler on my truck now, and I'm really leaning towards those as my next tire because Trail Grappler's a little noisy. How are you liking the Ridge Grapplers? Never gonna use anything else ever again. I love them. The, the rims, I've always been a huge fan of because I, love Raptors, I just can't afford one. So I chose those rims because of that. The Ridge Grapplers, I love them. Uh, no noise, but still look super aggressive. And You know, with that four inch lift and the 33, I, I wouldn't change a thing. I think the stance is just, just right. And you know, with the amount of uh, offset you got going on there, I can't imagine you get a lot of sling or anything down the side of the truck. It seems to fill out the fenders perfectly. Yeah, no problem whatsoever. I've thought about uh, getting some spacers in there a little bit, but I don't know if I want to get fender flares or not, so I just... It's a cool look, don't get me wrong. I think like a little bit of poke looks awesome, but with that black paint, man, it's too pretty. How do you keep that thing so clean? I don't. No. <laughs> that is a rare picture right there. Uh, moving up front, you got a lot going on as well. Obviously the Raptor style grill with the Ford lettering, you did it right, I like that. And then the, the Morimoto headlights, those were a gift you're telling me from the wife? Yes, they were a little Father's Day present. That's a hell of a Father's Day present. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I love them. I wanted black housing to match the truck. I love the way they look. And how's the performance, like the light output and everything? I mean, is it killer? The output's amazing. They really transform the front end of the truck. I mean, when I've done a few reviews on them and just those four like projectors stacked on top of each other, it just looks killer. And they have a they have a startup sequence too, right? Every time you lock and unlock the truck. Yeah, the sequential light on top. I Sometimes I just, go out there, unlock it, lock it, just to look at it. <laughs> oh, that's killer. Well, dude, I would too for those those headlights. I know those aren't cheap, man. So again, that was a heck of a Father's Day gift for you there. And if you guys wanna see more of Wally's F-150, including those killer Morimoto XB headlights, check out his build page back at AT. Or again, if you're watching this on YouTube, just go ahead and click on that link below. And also up front to round it all out, you got the bull bar. Is that a barricade or is that the Black Horse off-road? That's the barricade. It, it looks awesome up front. I don't know if I'd change anything. Maybe. A I have seen a few like smoked like LED fog light kits. Yeah, I have thought about it. I mean, but other than that, that front end is looking tough, man. Um, let's move to the back because you did send us an exhaust clip too. You got the MBRP sticking with the black theme, the uh, the black exhaust back there. How you liking that? I love it. I had a 2013 uh, truck a while ago, and I put the same exact exhaust on that one, and so I I loved it then. I love it now. Sticking with it.
that you can't complain with a five liter and, and an exhaust. You know, unfortunately, the EcoBoost guys like myself, you know, it's like, it's not always that fun to rev them up, but uh, yeah, your, your, your truck sounds good, man. Um, now under the hood, we do also have the Roush cold air intake going on. Do you have the truck tuned or anything or is it just intake exhaust and that's pretty much it? Just intake and exhaust. I, I've flirted with the idea of doing a tuning. I, I have endless ideas of things I wanna do. Inside the truck, you got a lot going on as well. I see, curious to see how you like the locking console that you got. Do you use that quite a bit? Love it, yeah. I keep valuables in there. I used to live in Maine, which was a, you, anyone could consider carry so I used to keep a little piece in there and I love it. Inside the truck you also got a lot of the Duha stuff, the, um, the under seat storage which I love, I'm sure you put that thing to work. And then looks like we got the uh, Rough Country WeatherTech mats, or is it the Rough Country mats? Rough Country by WeatherTech and I love them. Um, they, you know, they get dirty obviously but they're super easy to clean, I haven't had any trouble keeping it in place. And you got them for the front and the rear then too, the big long one in the back or just up front? I do have the big long one, but that was from the Roush. Now tonneau covered, how you liking that with the roll up and everything? Love it. Drove to Virginia from Maine with all of our stuff back there and it's a very wet drive sometimes. So I kept everything nice and dry. And I love the easy capability of folding it up and still having plenty of space. Sometimes I wish I had a harder cover, but I don't want to lose that space. Yeah, it's nice to just probably leave that thing folded up and out of the way and you don't have to worry about it. Oh, it looks like you also put some carbon goodies around the interior as well, which I really like the look of that. I got a thing about carbon fiber stuff. So I, I did some on the steering wheel and around the media display. And then I got your all's door sills, the new carbon fiber door sills. I love them. Well, yeah, I'm a sucker for that look too. I, I'll have to check those out because anytime I get the opportunity to add some carbon in there. I'm definitely down. Now we did talk future plans a little bit. We talked tune, we talked, you know, maybe, you know, some fog lights, but is there anything else that you've been just kind of itching to get on the truck? I've been looking really hard into this Overlander stuff. So I really found the addictive desert design bed rack, super cool. Thinking about like a tent to put on it. That, that's something that it would be way down the line. I would not hesitate to throw that on my truck because I just know it's gonna fit good, made in the USA. And while we do sell the right line gear tent, the bed tent and mattress, which we've done, I, actually a couple of the truck customers I've talked to in past videos have it and they love it, man. They take the kids off-roading and camping and it's actually one of the only ways they can get the uh, the wife to go out camping and you know stay up off the ground. But yeah, the chase rack I think would really look killer on there. Maybe throw some auxiliary lighting on it or you know, sky's the limit really with that stuff. Well, dude, the truck looks beautiful. Um, again, I'm a big fan of the front grille, the Morimoto's, just the whole front end. And the, I think the lift in 33 combo is just, I think you just nailed the look. Well, thanks for joining us today, man. Keep up the good work and uh, yeah, man, keep modding. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. All right, guys, well, there you go. That was Wally and his very nice 2016 five liter F-150 in black. Just a build done right in my opinion, you know? Not too much, not over the top. Simple lift, wheels and tires, some nice front end treatment, and those headlights. Man, what a nice gift from the wife, huh? Happy Father's Day indeed. Guys, we hope you enjoyed this one. Again, if you wanna see more of Wally's build, including more about that Rough Country four inch kit and those kicker bars, check out his build page back at AT, of course, or if you're catching this on YouTube, just go ahead and click on that link below. But in the meantime, I'm Justin, thanks for watching. And for all things F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.